So, hello everybody. Welcome to my channel, Stormy Cloud 21. Uh, today I was going to talk to you about what I decided to do with this. I had some extra Micro Machines Series 2 buses. And I thought that would be fun to do a little customization. Not like paint, but a little bit of uh, signage, advertising that you see on buses when you're in big cities. So I thought, well, I'm gonna do a little version of that on my own. So I have some extra buses, dispensable buses, and I found one that I thought I could do that with. Here is the pack where I have taken the bus from. And here is the leftover card. Then I had all of this extra signage right here to work with. So things that I use for my tools for the uh, signage, which I collected this from various businesses over a long period of time uh, when I went somewhere and I get free stuff. And then I went and uh, cut these out so I could have them for future use. So, you have here an X-Acto knife that I use uh, for really tiny, tiny fine um, things I wanted to cut to make the signs. Some scissors and some really handy tweezers uh, with some more fine point for grabbing stuff on, like right there, but I have glue on there. Let me get some more. And some Loctite gel, which is essential to quick, quickly putting on any type of small thing like that. You can do plastic, metal, wood, uh, all kinds of uh, different materials based on whatever Loctite that one is designed for. And then it will dry within five minutes. Usually a lot less, exactly. And a ruler. And further ado, further ado. I had a bus just like this. I have several buses like this. This set is pretty, pretty fairly cheap and pretty easy to find. So because I was able to do that, I'm going to show you what I did with my bus when I custom. So let's get a closer look. I'm gonna turn this off and get a close up, okay? Here we go. Okay, so for my bus, I decided to add all kinds of little signage. So um, what I first did was I cut out this big Google Play section. And it had a white background. I cut all that off. I also got some other signs ready. Little tiny, little tiny little signs. Had to use an X-Acto to cut this. Made this one. This is paper. You know, free stuff that you get in the mail, business cards, whatever you can find when you go to a restaurant. Say you go to McDonald's and you pick up a business card or Burger King. Uh, you get stuff in the mail. There's the bus's number. And so then you can use it. This came from the same thing as where I got the Coca-Cola. When they do advertising of what they offer on a menu sometimes. And so I got this off of a menu. For free. You know, this this came in the mail. Everything I just utilize it and I can use it. Like like this. This came from a brochure telling about an event. So I just incorporate it into my idea of what I want to do. And next thing you know, you have advertising on your micro city transit bus for your big city, just like you would see when you go to any big city. You would uh, see them trying to get you to buy stuff and put advertising on the bus. And the businesses pay to have their information on the bus. And that helps keep the buses running. So there you go. That's what I did. That's my customized bus. We have this side. We have this side. We have the back. And then we have the front. And I could add some more. I could even... Put some more stuff up here, numbers or whatever. And I could paint if I was really sophisticated with paint. 
and airbrushing and things like that, but I'm not. So maybe in the future, but for now, I just use Loctite gel, and this is my idea to customize a bus with advertising for your enjoyment, if you like it, or anybody. Um, just an idea I had tonight, and I brought it to fruition. So, this has been a short little video. It's not going to do it. Let's retake that. And action! This has been a short little video. I just wanted to show you how I customized this little bus by putting signage on it. Yes, there's a lot more I could do as far as customization goes. I could paint it. But this for me, it was my project for tonight. And what I did, um, I had a bus that had some um, paint defects. And so I thought that would be fun to work on this project. So that's exactly what I did. So if you like this video, you want to see some more videos that I make, please like and subscribe. Ring the bell. This is Stormy Cloud 21. We'll talk about some more cool stuff upcoming in the future. Until then, thank you for watching and talk soon.